you can do what you don't have. Uh -huh. When you are talking about integrity, you are really talking about the, the, the real person. Who that person is. Uh, when you talk of integrity, you talk of honesty. To be honest. And to be honest means to be trustworthy. To be truthful. And politics is science and art of government. Uh, politics is about the people. Yes. And uh, if you talk about it in a deeper sense, it has to do with how people take decisions on how to lead themselves. We welcome you back, uh, viewers. We are with uh, our guest, Lucky Erai Hueme, the MD of Hueme Computers and Allied No Services Limited, based in Abuja here. He's also a public affairs analyst just telling us the way is coming to his mind and from his experience out there in the feed. Now, uh, I we stopped at what has changed. What has changed? Are you saying things have not changed? I, know, I mentioned one with regard to the bombings in the major city. Yes. But for economy wise, I, I have not really personally. I'm talking about personal experience. I'm not really feeling the the impact. I believe it's not only me. No, the, people have also been talking I, I have friends like there. Manner. Yes, so uh, nothing has really changed much there. Then the security wise, uh, kidnapping is on the rampage. Seriously. Minus kidnapping, before we started the program, about if you go to the social media, you see the way murder cases are being recorded every day. Look at the offer robbery. It was like James Bond. The facts. It was that like people could a, people could come into of our with seven vehicles it was stationed a, it in five was, different banks it was a and what they were they were acting movie. If if Nollywood if it was properly recorded, it would like, be the best film of yes. the year. So you can, and we have police and IG is still in Abuja Joki Coffee. And I learned that over thirteen policemen died. died. I and mean, it was so we have some this was recorded that 30 people, 37 people, 27 people. Huh. And we still have an IG sitting in Abuja drinking tea. We tax free up money, go to every city, crime is so they increase. Full of the yes men, they are they are they are dancing Makosa on people's grave. No, that is just an another issue if we are to assess the performance of government on that one. On that full and yes men issue alone, I think uh, everyone will hold red card. Then because so state uh, governor cannot pay salary. Most state governors cannot pay salary. So how will people feel the impact of the government? So this have no reason. So the APC government should really let's go back to the APC government. Yes. They should sit back. I know it can get better. We are praying seriously. I also believe they are working. They are working hard. But we want to see the impact of what of what they are, they are doing. doing. If you tell me you are working hard and I'm hungry, I won't believe you. You may truly really be working hard. Because honestly, when I see uh, the Honorable Minister Lai Mohammed talking, I'm almost tempted to believe that oh it's something is being done by this god but, but, not feeling but it. when you listen to have almost virtually every person uh, uh, on the street it's a different thing it's different entirely people so they should really sit tight because two thousand things is around the corner and uh, everyone have inter the red card is in our pocket everyone have interviewed uh, the opinion that this government have not done enough in the area of uh, security because when you are talking about security it should be holistic holistic you cannot be talking about uh dealing with boko haram then uh, the police, police men, uh, they are men has become one of the worst terrorist group uh, that we have ever seen in the world today and people are afraid to brand them terrorist group and again this is a government that is uh, saying that we should go back to agriculture even the people who have been uh, farming before can no longer go to states, their farm you cannot go to your farm in those states I the, I had the land in the village that my sister have to give out to somebody. I said, well, why would you farm on the land? He said, me, woman, go to the farm. You wanted to rape me? Even as far as uh, those states. So you can imagine what they are going through in Benue, what they are going through in Taraba, what they are going through in, uh, in the Even Nasarawa. Beyond the, those states, uh, the killings in Delta in, State. Uh, uh, Nugu State, killing. what happened in Nugu State towards the Osaka Aziz. So the government really need to come out and call a spade a spade. They have not handled the issue of full and very well. 
the police I know they they are, they are short of my power. No but they are not that, handle this what that you my even uh, said uh, they are colliding with they are co yes colluding with all these people yeah, we it, don't know. It, it, it's, it's possible because an experience happened when something happened when first airport I was bombed. I wasn't there. When that bomb incident took place, my friend was rushing there. Okay. A member of my tribe, I won't want to mention his name now. He was rushing to, you know, people were rushing to know what yeah, happened. Yeah, to know what has happened. He had a voice behind me, him. Uh -huh. Why would they bomb everywhere? Why well, they have refused to, to allow Buhari be our president? When he looked back, because the police officer was saying that. A police officer? He looked back and asked, according to him, asked, what did you say? He said that why would it uh, why would wouldn't they bomb everywhere? Why did they allow Buhari to come in? That was Assad. He was saying that. So if that man has an opportunity to collide with Boko Haram, would he? You know, this one brings me to the experience we had in uh, when I was still a vicar of Church of the Resurrection Cafe, when uh, uh, the security men that always come uh, to guide facilities on during services. The uh, theory came. And one was just harassing our local security man that come, come, uh, show me where you are hiding equipment. I mean, uh, uh, weapons here. Yeah. We learned that two people uh, are, are gathering weapons to fight back, and we are going to deal with you. That is a security man that came to watch over church. Oh. So, honestly, I have to reach out to the, to the DPO in charge of Guaripa area and say that very police officer should never step, the church step into that our church premises and again we have to open register that any policeman coming on duty must be made to sign put his name his police number there and sign before we can allow him to resume to to function in the church environment so i, I, I we don't know what is really so the area of go, uh, government to me, I have not feel much of the impact, but I know they can do better. But is there... And they should also stop the blame game. Now, I got to... you know the good thing, let me tell you, the good thing is this. If a government has performed, then the people will congratulate it them. It will show. And, and, no, I'm not talking of... It, it is, when it has shown, the people will say thank, thank you. you. And that's why... The people they, will pay you back. Pay, that's votes. why they have the PVC. VC. Now, from what we are seeing now, if... APC have not done enough. Is PDP prepared to take over from what, are, what you, you can see? <laughs> have you so, seen any credible me, opposition? Me, I, am, I, I find it difficult to separate party from party. Okay. Because when you check the record, they are virtually the same people. They are, the, they are virtually the same people. They are virtually people. the same people. Somebody said of Ruse that most of the uh, APC governors now were all members no, of PDP. PDP. PDP, EAPP. So they are all the same. Saraki was, they were the founders of AMPP. Before they moved to PDP, back to APC now. So I told me they are all the same. What, what we require now is credibility. People that have, that actually have credi little credibility in them to come out and partake in politics. If it's the same set of PDP, it's the same thing. See what happened in PDP's primaries. A list flew in from Protocol, they call it Unity List. A, a, a will be right. chairman, B will be vice chairman, C will be. And that was how the OT went because one man brought the money. And in such a terrain, you will not see, you will not find fairness. You will not find justice. Are you saying that PDP have not repented because they apologized to Nigerians? Yeah, Leopards. Leopards will never change their skin. They are the same people, sir. That primary, uh, that uh, convention would have yes. been a good grant. For them to show all that they have repented. Because the people that really brought down PDP were the governors. Hmm. By my own understanding. The governors hijacked the party. They, they decided to become councillor. They decided to become uh, local government chairman. They decided to become um, uh, state assembly members. Uh, House of Rep members. They decided to become senators. They decided to become ministers. Which, which means, for now, it, this is becoming confusing. Uh, many people have been saying no credible opposition, which was actually very glaring. Now, 2019 is drawing nearer. If in democracy, if party A in power did not do well, then the people should be able to vote, vote, for, another party. Part, uh, vote for another party. Now, uh, are Nigeria having alternative? No, that, that, that's nothing that doesn't have an alternative in life. Alternative to life is death. Abi? 
<laughs> Otani to white is black. Of course. Uh -huh. So there's always Otani to short is tall. Yes. So there's always Otani to draw the opposition parties to put their hands in order. Not the way PDP went with their convention. No. We must sit back. Men that still have little credibility that should come out. We still have time. Two thousand nineteen around the primary starts September. In these few months, they should come out and really decide to fight for the soul of this country. That's where the problem lies. Because people fight for the soul of their interests. Personal interests. Why do they hijack PDP? Personal interests. People want to hijack APC now. Personal interests. So we want people that will come out and have come out with Nigerian interests first. Hmm. That's my grounds with National Assembly. They are busy eating in one corner. And they seem not to be doing much because of what they are benefiting. Sanit so Sanit came up that day with what they are what they are receiving. And they are Nobody is even coming up to say, okay, slash our money. How much do you want this money to be slashed? Why can't we slash your money? If that would benefit the nation. But nobody is going to so we should PDP keep... government could not do it. APC government did not do it now. Personal interest know. is killing this country. We need national interest. And we, uh, people I'm seeing over there, they don't have this interest of this. They said on TV, I'll go behind and do different things. Talk, talking about national interest, that has brought to the fore again another bony issue that we need to talk about. That is the issue of disunity. It's like a, we don't want the prophecy of the West to manifest where they say Nigeria was going to disintegrate before 2050. We thank God it didn't happen. But for the past few years, the way the disunity is becoming so glaring, tribalism is is uh, growing by the day, and uh, na and when that one happens, national interests begin to go down. So, what do you advise the people and the government on that? On the issue of national unity, yeah, nas national interest, unity of the country, because the everyone is just suspecting. Each other, each other now, Everybody's there's confusion everywhere. Every try suspect that. My take on that is <laughs> I have to really say, my sir, have we really sat and asked God, God, do you want us to be one? Have we really, really prayed about that? You know, or we would just saw ourselves accidentally as one, we believe that's my demand you know, of God. What, us. what, uh, you know, those most people in government we always they have made such a bogus statement that's the unity of Nigeria is non negotiable. Yes, but no one is, but the thing is falling apart like a chino achibes, uh, nothing, uh, nothing that, things that, are falling apart, and people that, are saying unity is non nothing that is non negotiable. People are negotiating marriage nowadays, marriage that is even a covenant. People are negotiating it. Even, no, Should we go to no, court and divorce? Why, we stay together? That is why that statement, I'm here to understand. Nothing is non negotiable, Wait, sir. I don't understand. Uh, uh, say the unity of Nigeria is non negotiable. A conference was set up by the negotiation. It was to negotiate. Yes. And uh, they were really negotiating. We are still clamoring for another one. And it's they, negotiation. They, they really negotiated. And again, we are talking, everyone is calling from different corners, the, uh, talking about restructuring. It borders on negotiation. negotiation because these are the things that are pulling us apart. Issues unresolved, the issue of uh, marginalization, the issue of uh, per perceived oppression. It's not uh, perceived oppression. Okay, oppression. It's not perceived. Sir. It's not perceived. Okay, some people that are saying it's just perceived. It's not perceived. But the person being oppressed knows he's being oppressed. Even you know it's not perceived. I know. Uh -huh. I know. I, I I'm, I'm, know. I'm from the. Go to Cardo. Want to build a church? We don't have to sell land for you. We built a church in Mabushi, now in Abuja. We bought it from somebody from Niger State. Do you see government now? It's national interest that makes and it to build the to world us in somebody's because We bought it in somebody's name. And we from, don't the, the and from the session that uh, that is being uh, oppressed. oppressed and why you calling it No, it because of, you know, we're in national television and we, we do everything to, to ensure that. No, to No, not neutral per se, to as much as possible, not... Uh, I mean, try to bridge the gap instead of further uh, separating, making statement of further divide. We are trying as a station at least to yeah, uh, uh, pro uh, present our program your, in such yeah, a way position. that uh, the country should be able to hold together. So that is why, we, not that we sir, don't know that there's a We can, we can really. work out this nation if we drop personal interests hmm. and promote national interests. I keep on it national interest. We can work out as one. I lived in Kano for seven years. I've lived in Lagos for two years. 
I've been in Abuja for 18 years. You are a true Nigerian. And you are, I've been in Abuja for 18 years. And you are from Edo State, I've, the heartbeat of the nation. Yes, I'm from Edo State. So, Since the area I've lived, Kano, seven years, Lagos, two years, no, Abuja, 18 years. You have moved from one extreme to the other and come back to the so center. So we can walk out. I have friends from North, from the North. Wonderful friends. My closest business partner is from the North. Hmm. One is from Josh, one is from Kano. One is a Christian, one is a Muslim. We eat together, we do business together, we, we have not cheated each other. We can work out the nation mm. if we drop personal interests. From, right from the local government to the federal level. Mm. That can, 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 we, can, we can be better than this. I believe that. We, can be, we have the resources, we have the manpower, we have the willingness. No, honestly, God has blessed, blessed this, country this country in so many ways. But because we have also disappointed God so much. I agree. Because what what he has the Bible said to whom much is given, much is expected. God has given us so much and he expected so much, but he's getting little in return. Hmm. So we should drop personal interest. That will help. Senators will come to TV and talk. They will go behind and do their midnight meeting. Different thing. Hmm. And how would that work? When the when the minister knows that leaders are coming to collect money. So no matter the shout you do in the afternoon, the minister will be in the service and be smiling. You will come now uh, oversight function. I'm going to give you money. So what you say is bad or dash. So by the time they know that you are not coming, you want your people from Versailles for sure, you are not going to collect money. They will sit tight. But when I know that, we will negotiate now. Everything about Nigeria is about negotiating, negotiating. And the negotiation is about personal pockets. Not the general interest of the nation. So when we bring the interest of the nation forward, we will work better. That's not when you talk the issue of the youth coming to politics. Yes. If you have youth that have national interest, it will still work. But if you have a youth that want to come to Abuja and buy Prado Jeep, 38 million, it will not work. Now, that brings me to the issue of uh, the third force. Okay, the new group. Obasa yeah, Obasa the new or... group that Obasa just... You know, why I'm interested in that third force is uh, I'm, I'm a priest. I can't be a politician. Otherwise, I would have joined third force. Do you know why? What? The man who is uh, initiating this has been, you know, a military president. Yes, he has been president. civilian president. He has seen it all. So when such people are talking, mm -hmm. they should be respected. People who are wise should listen. And uh, if he's saying that uh, things are not going the way it should be, uh, go, and uh, we are not getting there yet, and there's need for a third force, yeah, I think we need to think twice. Now, I think that third force should be talking about people like you. I'm interested in the third force. But I want to see where they are going. This is about just wonderful leader of the nation. But he was also a man that was planning for Tete. That, by the way. We should know the people that are coming and what is their agenda. Okay. What is the agenda to rescue Nigeria and make Nigeria better? Fine and good. What was the agenda to be better? Because the way it is going, no future for our children. I, I look that, that I look is, at my son sometimes and smile. No, that is, wait, that is my fear. When I look at my little children, I'm just praying one prayer that we don't leave a disorganized nation, nation for country them. like this for our children. You know, in my, ch in my children, when I hear that, now Nepal, they know whether they call it PAC or know, whatever, or, 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 or disco, or, 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 or whatever. ADC. So it's Nepal, Nepal. Even when we put out our generator, you hear they say Nepal. Nepal. I say no. This is Nepal. <laughs> this is our generator. So it's, it's becoming a very, very painful, no, painful thing. What if we are going this, going this stress? What would be their fate? I don't know. So that's why we really need to put this country in order. Now. Now. Because if we don't put it in order now, it will be... But so any person who is not ready for the positive change of Nigeria, Nigeria. should be kicked now, out. So now, I was reflecting mm. on the past. Those days. I was telling a friend of mine. When I was growing up, the richest man in my community, the only thing they can acquire is two houses, oh. Mercedes Benz, pick up, and 504. They stop. They won't buy again. Even when they have excess money. People were very rich in your village. Yes, that is the rich, if, you go, if you go to Ebuma, Ebuma. then the richest man you can not my village. Ebuma then yeah. me, then me, uh, Ibaze of this world. Okay. I'm a dealer of fish. What they will buy is pick up. Yeah, I go for pick up. Mercedes, they stop there. Then the, uh, one has is one, yeah, two. Maybe one, uh, we will have a, one black and white television. And now we have every, every village around to go, houses, and, go and watch it things fall apart. 30 cars. So if we continue this way, sir. Won't get anywhere. So please, I was discussing with a member of the National Assembly one day. He said, Bralocky, a member of the National Assembly member, 
He said, if I'm tired of this country, I will run back to Canada. I said, why, sir? You are there to make policies. You are even in position of authority. Mm. He said, any policy you take to the National Assembly that the session of the country feel bad about, they will what, die. no matter how good it is, because they have majority, it will die. Hmm. That is getting frustrated. No, I've noticed that. Come on, your chapter to the National Assembly. I've noticed that. And the that. person is even your member of your fellowship. No, I've noticed that. That any policy you take to the National Assembly that is against them, it would matter if it's the best for the nation. Natural death. They will just go behind, speak their language, and kill it. So how do you move the nation forward like that? Hmm. Because we have not seen ourselves as one. A, a, a country cannot grow under that. No, you have not, we have not seen ourselves as one. You see yourself as an Edo man, I see myself as an Asian man, I see as a Kanuri man. When you see yourself as Nigerian, we will grow faster than this. So, sir, the third force is a good one if they have a good future for this country. Now, I, I will join. I also, no, uh, if, I, if, conditionally, if the, I can see where we are heading to. Okay, you I need men that has good you need, you need to do that research quickly because uh, I'm going to do that. Sir. 2019 is I, I, I learned that no, before SDP, I learned that I uh, it was on the news that 35 political parties were meeting. I think there was going to be an alliance, but I have not had anything since after that meeting. 35 political party, do they have members? I think this APC is this SDP. That is coming up, they, they look more serious than any other one. But most of this political party, most of their leaders also attend all these meetings. Who are the leaders of SDP? Do you have an idea for now? Uh, basically, the well, the person I know there is uh, Jerry Gana. I've seen uh, Professor Jerry yes, Gana, it's, it's, I've it's, seen uh, uh, Saolu Falaye. Falaye, Falaye, no, Falaye has always been the chairman of SDP. Okay. It's, it's an old party. Okay. Is it the same old party that they are rebranding now? Yes, Falaye is SDP. Okay. They even contested yeah. 2014 or, or 2011 election. Yes. That's what they are representing. Uh, wow. To be the new SDP. Well, let's hope that uh, God helping them and God helping this country, they will be the third force. Because we are going to a stage in this country that something just have to move. We must have to do something for, for us to, to, to rescue the soul of this country with the Christians of this country. We should, not, we should not stay back. We may not be having the funds, but at least we have good numbers and with commitment, things can really change. Now, uh, uh, still as we are preparing, apart from uh, regis registering and collecting PVC, what do you think about uh, party membership? Don't you think uh, Nigeria should be encouraged to you register know, and become When we started, I mentioned parties? politicking. Yes. You have to be a party member. To, to politic, to play the, the yeah. rules of the game. Yes. So we must have to be loyal members of a particular party. That, but that's where you can make the difference. Because it's party members that elect delegates. And it's party members that elect candidates. Hmm. Because it's party members that forms delegates that elect candidates. So if you're not a party member, it is who they choose for you that you will vote for. Although they say I've manipulated that anyway. But you have to be there. To make your opinion known. So when you sit back and watch TV, they just choose a candidate for you. You uh, your party says go and vote. You don't have a choice to choose among the the two devils that they are or they are presenting to you to go and vote for. But if you have in the political party, that will enable you to be part of those that will choose who the candidate of your party will be. If you are a particular party, you can be choosing as an agent that will go and stand the pulley boot for your party hmm. during election. You can still there and see if it will be known. You know, uh, that takes me to uh, the last uh, Anambra governorship election. Money. We are on ground to observe. Yeah, apart from that of sharing of money was, I will talk about that quickly. But uh, the first one, uh, talking about party agents being on ground to watch the proceedings. I, I was surprised that uh, you just get to some police, I mean, some police unit, you won't find any uh, agents of, uh, agents of, uh, of uh, some particular party you just find maybe apc pdp abga then all other ones you won't find like ppa and others you won't find so uh, you I, what do you advise political parties in that respect I, uh, what we have so many political parties in nigeria mm. some are formidable some are not mm. so as far as i'm concerned we only have about no more than three parties in this country. All others are just there to collect yearly money from INEC. Hmm. So let's not look at those people. 
But the way we are going to look at is those that are fully on grant. Okay. Are also committed at their agents. If I want to say something last month, I by now if I'm the president, it will be in Kiri Kiri. What did he say? That that he was involved in election rigging. Severally. Mm -hmm. That he has even paid money for to our next staff to that now it's not a born again uh, politician. That's why he was confessing on the TV station. National stage. I watched it. Not that I was told. It was like, said, what to confess and uh, that he has repented from those things. That he paid for people to rig election. He paid for. Uh, no, if, he, if, he paid. Uh, it's good he has repented. The angels in heaven. All of his sins committed. Be, that's angel. What of the law? God does not forgive him. That he has. It's uh, God repented. that forgives. No, what we want. If Nigeria so can change. See what I'm trying to bring out. It's good. He said they do pay party agents, agents of opposition party, hmm. to look the other way. Hmm. That they pay our next staff. To look the other way, hmm. they paid police to look the other way. Now, that he has are, personally are, paid time, several times. Time is running out, so that's out. why the agent may not be able to now, do what they are expected to do. Now, time is running out, and I want us to quickly take on the issue of uh, this using money to buy people on election, they buy people's conscience. It was very glaring in the last Anambra election. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, no, that of Anambra was uh, on the extreme. Uh, what are those states? I'm telling you. you. I thought that this was no. I don't say what was a very good one. Was that uh, money? Uh, yes. So, but in Anambra, they were really sharing the money. Uh, you know, Hopefully, you know, bef before security men and everyone, you know, it, was money, no, no. it was not hidden. Three political parties were doing it. You no, know, it was very glaring. They uh, were doing. It. Uh, uh, they didn't give you that. <laughs> no, I was an observer. I was an observer. <laughs> We, they, need, we they, need more of you to they are, for us. They are sir. angry with us. When they, they see us, them to perform. when they see us on our uniform, they will be angry. <laughs> you greet some of them, they won't greet you. You want to hit them now? Because <laughs> what, they so, are to do. what do you tell Nigeria? Uh, if, if this one, where we did so, make us speak Fiji in English. Are we going to still accept a rapper? Are we going to accept 1,000 Naira and do the wrong thing? So Don't you, you think you they will can be can never thing? stop people from collecting in the kind of economy we are now, mm. the situation we are finding ourselves, you can't stop people from collecting money. And but, but will it not be like uh, eating the pot, pot of no, porridge and selling what I want to, what I want to point out right? Like, you can collect their money and vote your conscience. Vote. In no, they have a way they were doing it in Anambra. Where you will tell them you will vote for them, then you will go there. After turn printing, when you want to put it in the bus, you will lift it up like that. I, I say, one old woman, that one, could, the person watching who will give her money was looking the other day. Was oh na, oh na, I don't. <laughs> but that's where. Oh, this is where becoming the very men? funny. No, the the policemen. The police no, the policemen were just overwhelmed, and I don't know whether they said to them. They, 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 they would there was a particular place where they were doing this thing before the IDEC official and the policemen. One of the policemen wait and go a bit and say, "Come." I mean, we should do this thing with care now. Even though we, we have decided to keep quiet, it's not that we, we, don't, know what uh, we do. don't know what to do, that we don't know that this thing is so. Wrong. It was embarrassing, mm -hmm. really. So, we need to talk to Nigerians no. about this. Rightly, it's wrong to collect money to vote for anybody. And any party doing that one is contravening the law. The law. And there should be sanctions. But the question is, and any person taking the money is should, sell, is selling his own soul and so, selling his own future. The person should even be persecuted too. But the question is, who will sanction who, and who will persecute who? That is where we have problem. People, if you have national interest at heart, you will do the right thing and you will persecute people. But now because you have his personal interest, nobody wants to. If APC does to, that and win, they will not persecute themselves now. If you cannot persecute yourself in Lagos, you cannot come and persecute PDP in, uh, in Bauchi. I think uh, we can round up at this point by uh, telling Nigerians to be wise. Be wise. Don't sell your cautious for one thousand naira of a loaf. Some people will even cut bread and put water inside, and they will tell you that it's really just bread, but there's water inside. So we should not sell our cautious hmm. to politicians that want to use us to make money. That was some, I was because also, when you are I was watching one woman yes, they said that's why they are riding black jeep because their heart is black. You see the position, everybody is riding ash color jeep. All they are riding black on the national television. They are riding black, black jeep because their heart is black. And their glass is tinted. Tinted. Everything is black. So now. So we should not sell our courses to them. Now, should be wise. we want people who will go into the, the political arena and ride white. Uh, white vehicles. White vehicles. Plain glass. Plain glass. No more So that one. the electorate can see, see them. See them.
So, so on that note, we want to thank you, Mr. Lucky <laughs> you so much, Eraipo, for you. It has been an interesting time, and we want to appreciate those who called in and uh, appreciate all our viewers and Nigerians out there. Uh, let's get ourselves prepared for 2019. The clock is already ticking, and uh, we know come 2019, I think there's going to be a change, and the change will be a positive change, not uh, negative change. Ah, yes, positive change. change. But I don't know uh, who we are going to vote, because even myself, I'm confused whether we are, we are going to vote the present government in, whether we are going to vote PDP or uh, SDP or the third force that is yet to have a name, yeah. I don't know. But what we should do, now let's prepare so that as the thing is getting close, is getting clearer and clearer and we are getting closer, we should be able to make up our mind. Right. We should assess the present government based on the promises they made, their campaign promises. If they have done well, let's give them a pat at the back. If they have done badly, let, them, let us show them red card, as Jose Quisley always say. If they have done, done very well, we'll and give them... Christians and, and, and Christians, and this is not the time to go and sleep. If you sleep, well, don't uh, come and raise prayer requests in my church tomorrow. Go prepare now and do the right thing. And uh, for those of you who, want, who love this program, want you to support ACNN, you can uh, support this program, contribute to make sure this program is always on air, and you can also take advantage of using the break time to advertise your own product. Thank you once again. Uh, we'll come again next time. God bless you all.